Now, a few months ago, I made a video talking about my favorite outdoor or now, a few months ago, I did a video talking about the Victorinox Huntsman and how I thought this was the ultimate survival Victorinox. I talked about features and kind of hidden tricks that make this tool one of the best. And luckily to my awesome subscribers, they pointed me in a few different directions, talking about other models that I was not as familiar with and that kind of flew under the radar. In this video, we're talking about the Victorinox Rucksack and what I think of this little guy, and what my experience has been with this tool. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Now, full disclaimer with this tool, this one, they no longer make rucksacks, and has been replaced by the tool called the Outrider, but I wanted to try the vintage tool first, because I like vintage tools a little bit more than new tools, so I got myself a... I got myself a rucksack, and this one is definitely pretty heavily used, but it still is cool, has a lot of character, has a lot of use and abuse under it, as you guys can see, corkscrew is a little bit bent up, and there's definitely been some reprofiling that I had to do to the main blade, but for the most part, I think I got a pretty good experience of what it's like to use the rucksack, and what it's like to run this guy, so without any further ado, let's jump into the rucksack, talk about it, and what I think about this in comparison to something like the Huntsman, or my favorite, the Ranger. Okay, so definitely when it comes to the rucksack, I can see the draw for this tool. This was kind of, from what I can understand, Victorinox's entry into more knife-based uh, multi-tools. So they are still tools that have multiple functions, but the blade is certainly the kind of focus. Of course, this thing has a locking blade in this weird kind of side lock manner, and so you have to unlock that to get it to close. And so, in addition to that, it also is a larger multi-tool with a much longer blade length, giving you a more usable knife-oriented multi-tool. So, for that, I definitely have to say that I think this is a pretty cool tool. It is comfortable in the hand because it is contoured to be held like such and used. So it's as a kind of knife focused multi-tool is definitely pretty solid. In addition it also does have the saw which is quite a long saw in the same orientation so you get a pretty good handle on the saw. Admittedly it's not as good because as you guys, as you guys can see the blade kind of comes in and fills in this groove so when you're actually holding this with the saw out you get a little bit less handle contouring so it's not as comfortable but the saw length and saw ability kind of make up for that of course the saw blade is not locking the only locking blade or the only locking part is the actual knife blade so anyways uh, overall the rucksack is a pretty cool tool. I've definitely been enjoying using it, and I think that it will become a mainstay in my tool options, though I will say I picked up a Victorinox Ranger, and I think that this, for my intended purpose of what I think a Victorinox is, or what I use my Victorinoxes for, I tend to find that the Huntsman and Ranger seem to be a little bit more of what I like. They're a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact for me. I'm not necessarily going out there with the Victorinox being my only tool. Usually I will have a larger knife, usually a larger saw, and so I could see the validity of a rucksack being more useful if you are going out with just the rucksack. You know, like if this is your primary blade and say you're maybe running a hatchet in this rucksack, that would actually probably be a pretty good option. And if you were running just a Victorinox and a hatchet, I would probably recommend either the Outrider or the rucksack because it's gonna give you a longer, more capable and competent blade. It's also gonna give you a better saw that has greater length and a more usable tool. So for me, a, a Victorinox is a part of a tool system and not a standalone tool, so I prefer the little bit smaller uh, Ranger and Huntsman, and I think that, you know, this blade is less, or this multi-tool is less blade-focused, but it also is more well-rounded, so when you're coming to the back of the tool and using something like the corkscrew, you know, for instance, you know, you have a tool 
that, you know, is still fairly comfortable, but definitely because of the contouring up here, feels a little bit awkward at hand to use. Or let's say you want to use the awl, you know, it definitely feels a little bit more awkward to use the awl with this tool because the lack of the kind of square handle makes it feel a little bit just off in your hand when you hold it, or when you're trying to press, press down on something. Whereas with this tool, because it is more squared off, you know, when you hold it like such, get that out of the way, um, it feels more natural and intuitive. So you kind of sacrifice with a more traditional Victorinox the comfort of any one individual tool for the reasonable comfort of all tools. And so I think that that is where the rucksack kind of comes into play uh, with its ergonomics being an advantage and a disadvantage. That being said, this blade is, like I said, a very good option if this is one of your mainline, you know, tools and it's not necessarily a part of a solid system that has like three or four different component tools making up your system. If this is, you know, a two-tool option, then the rucksack is probably going to be where it's at. And that's definitely where I would place this tool if I was going out with just a, a like I said, like a hatchet or an axe, I would throw this rucksack in there and I'd feel a lot more confident in my abilities to tackle different camp survival or outdoor tasks. Now to the tool set of the rucksack, I believe the Outrider is similar but a little bit different, though don't quote me on that. You do have of course the largely mentioned main blade. You also have your saw, which like I said I really dig the length on this saw. I'll have to uh, pull out my smaller Victorinox to show you guys. This thing actually has a pretty long saw. So this is a uh, Ranger right here, and uh, you guys can see there, it has a about half inch longer uh, saw blade to it, and that half inch doesn't necessarily seem like it would make a big difference, but it's really felt, like you can really feel that you have a longer saw, and it definitely gets through materials a bit faster. So that is the saw, then moving over you have the traditional uh, bottle opener, as I struggle here, you have your traditional bottle opener and your traditional can opener here. So you got your can opener and your bottle opener there, and that completes the front side tools. Moving over to the back, you just have a corkscrew and a awl over here. Let me see if I can get this guy pulled out of here for you. So you have it all. So you have just these two tools in the back, nothing too crazy. This is a reasonably simple tool, but like I said, I think the reason why they keep this with a lower amount of functions is because this is a very knife-oriented uh, Victorinox. And once again, the main blade does lock, which is pretty handy. I haven't necessarily stress tested it. Don't necessarily want to find out the strengths of this lock, but I'm reasonably confident in, of course, just putting a little bit of downward pressure. Uh, it's not retracting, so it seems pretty solid, seems pretty good. Probably not the best, would not recommend batoning with this tool, but it certainly does the job of keeping the main blade from coming back in on you. So that is the Victorinox rucksack in comparison to the Huntsman and the Ranger. My personal favorite of all three of these tools is the Ranger. I really do enjoy the tool selection on this particular Victorinox, and if you haven't already, make sure you check out the review on the Ranger, but the Rucksack is a pretty cool option. It's definitely something that I'm going to be keeping in mind, and I will probably end up picking up an Outrider, which is the newer version of the Rucksack, to test and compare to the original Rucksack. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.